The Mandalorian Neo Crusaders now controlled Mandalore, Althea III, Cathar, and some smaller surrounding sectors, and Mandalore the Ultimate did not give in to his warrior ways by attacking the Republic directly. From 3975 BBY to 3967 BBY, the Neo Crusaders were sent to raid worlds on the northeast part of the Outer Rim. Corson and Azur fell in the first several months, and Cadel Bay warships used their technological advantage to expand into the Tyon Hegemi in Hut Space, which allowed them access to the Prolemium trade route. Cassus Fett led forces raided the Makum and Corum system, which granted the Grip Link trade route. After that, eight more systems fell, and the Huts now in need of an army hired mercenaries to defend their territories, but the Mandalorian's military might simply beat them and force them into their ranks. This resulted in the overtaking of the Taskeed, Denagra, and Darnatan system. Now, with full control of the northeast and east outer rim, Mandalore formed supply posts on the planet Kalai and began to form his war plans to advance into the mid-rim. In 3965 BBY, the Republic, after allowing the Neo Crusaders free reign for 10 years, finally gathered a fleet at Terrace, as Intel reports that it would be the first system attack. Cassis Fett then backtracked his clans to the planet Flashpoint, a world of scientific research, and this is where the first skirmish between the Mandalorians and Republic kicked off which also resulted in the Republic's first official loss of the war. The Republic then assigned Captain Saul Carif to oversee what the Republic still thought as a simple matter. The next six weeks the two factions fought which resulted in bloody but inconclusive results. The Holonet finally revealed the war with the Mandalorians and the Jedi Order quickly decided for no Jedi intervention due to the dark side clouding the motives of those involved. The Jedi High Council grew increasingly conservative, and over the next several months and with more Republic losses mounting up, the Mandalorians were ready to enter the mid-rim, and a young Jedi Knight began to convince like-minded Jedi to join the war. And with encouragement from his Jedi Master, the Jedi Master Kreia, he openly challenged the Council. This Jedi was branded the Jedi Crusader by the Republic Colonnet, and fellow Knights deemed him the Revengist, which was named for the retaking of lost territories, and of course, after the leader, the Jedi Knight Revan.